Hi there, this is Shri from Logbase. In this video, we are going to look into the demonstration on how to set up the Google Maps API key and integrate it with any web or mobile application. You have to use Google Maps API key for any application to calculate distance. Initially, we can start off from the Google Cloud Platform page. You will find the link in the description to GCP homepage. Search GCP in your Chrome browser to view the Google Cloud Platform homepage. Click on the Get Starter for free option and complete the authentication process. Add your credit card credentials to allow Google to activate your billing account as you are charged for the service that you avail from GCP. It is a pay as you go method. You will now land on the GCP dashboard. Under the navigation menu, hover over the API and services. Click on Enable API and Service to enable the required APIs and services to calculate distance. The apps use Maps JavaScript, Places, Distance Matrix, and Geocoding APIs, so these should be enabled in the GCP dashboard. Before you enable the required APIs, make sure to activate the billing account with GCP. You can either create a new one or link an existing billing account. I am creating a new one for your reference here. After linking the billing account, it takes 5 to 10 minutes to get activated. Meanwhile, go to the APIs and Services and Dashboard and enable the required APIs individually. Once the APIs are enabled, go back to the API Dashboard and click on Credentials. You will find an existing API key created by GCP by default. Click on Create Credentials, select API key and the key will be generated. Click the edit key and you can edit the key's name. Do not restrict the key when you edit the key name. You can restrict the API key based upon your requirement. For instance, if you want to integrate the API key in your static website, then you can restrict the API key. Do follow the GCP guidelines for the API restriction. Copy the API key from the APIs and Services dashboard and integrate it with your application. Note that GCP updates its dashboard frequently, so do not get confused with the navigations that the video follows. If the APIs does not work with the application instantly, contact Google Support and check if your billing account is completely activated. The link for Google Support is given in the description below. If you like the video, hit on the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch our upcoming videos. Cheers and see you in another nice video.